Hey, Mr. Kaczynski here, working with scientific notation in IXL's 8th grade math skills. One of the big benefits of scientific notation is that it's easy to compare numbers and see which ones are, are bigger or smaller. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so here we've got where both the exponents are the same. Alright, so when that's the case, we can just look at the bases, okay? And 1.1 is greater than 1. That means this entire expression is greater than the other. All right, but this is a little bit different um, because they actually have the same first factor. This is actually easier. Okay, all we have to do is look, okay, the one on the left is actually five times bigger than the one on the right. Since five is greater than four, that one's greater. All right, we're back to same exponent again. Okay, so when we have the same exponent, we can just look at the base. All right, 2.51 uh, is bigger than 2.1, or maybe we should say 2.1 is less than uh, 2.51. So, the entire expression is going to be less. Okay, it doesn't matter that the exponents are negative. Um, this is a bigger decimal than this is. Okay, same first factor. All we have to do is look here. And negative 17 is greater than negative 18. So that's why that entire expression on the left is greater than the one on the right. Okay, think about it like this. This one's being divided by 10 less than this one is. All right, and then they start throwing some at us where um, they're not in scientific notation. So I might need to get a piece of paper out and write this as 1.9 times 10 to the power of... One, two, three, four, five, six, ten 10 to the 6th. So now we have the same uh, first factor. All we have to do is compare the 7 to the 6. 7 is greater than 6, so the entire expression is greater than the one on the right. All right. Uh, this one on the left, let's take this and write it in scientific notation. It would be 4.48 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, negative 2. Remember, negative exponents for numbers smaller than 1. So now we can compare. First factors are the same. Exponents are the same. These expressions are equal. One more, um, and this one's kind of weird because this is kind of like scientific notation, uh, but not really. So here's the way I'm going to look at this one. I'm going to put it into scientific notation. It's 2.742 times 10 to the power of what? Okay, what happens? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places that we'd have to move that decimal place to. But think about it, if we if we made 5 plus 6 is 11, that would be an astronomical number. Okay, 10 to the 3rd is 1,000, 10 to the 6th is a million, 10 to the 9th is a billion. This is like 27 billion if we do that, okay? We don't want 11, okay? We want this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to actually subtract that um, from 5. So we're going to do 5 minus 6 which would be 2.742 times 10 to the negative 1. All right, comparing the negative 1 and the 0. 0 is actually greater than negative 1, so the expression on the left is greater than the expression on the right. That's probably one of the tougher ones to get through. All right, so comparing numbers that are written in scientific notation. Good luck, and let me know how it goes in the comments.